Hey Aquarius, welcome to Key Wisdom. My name is Ruth, I'm your Reiki master and teacher and this, my darlings, is your extended reading for this time period. We're going to look um, at this, we're going to do the sun, moon and stars spread as usual, okay? So we'll start with the sun, which is your divine masculine, which is our actions, your actions, experiences for the month of September. In the moon section of our reading, we're going to look at everything that's going on beneath the surface, anything that might be hidden from your conscious mind, your intuition, your emotions. And then in the final third and final section of the reading is your star section of your reading, which is everything that um, we can expect or you can expect as we in the first week of October. OK, so the, our destiny, where we are headed. Did right. Let's go. We've got a little bit of a hangover for you guys, a little bit of a hangover from August little bit of a hangover so you'll be dealing with something maybe be up before august actually some of you you deal with something and you are you kind of trying to get to get rid of something to get over something to move away from something finally you've been trying to do that and um you're still dealing with the sort of the, the sort of the remnants if you will of that energy as we enter as we enter um september you're still dealing with those remnants if you will as we enter but remnants is the word. So I know that there's going to be change part through the month, actually, probably part through around the 20th, um, part through the month of September, around the 20th um, is when we see finally you be able to release something or to um, get rid of something or to expel something. It's that energy. OK, so ooh, 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 quite the best of the reading, two of cups two of cups and we've got another two this is 20 this is i know this because it's got a bit of a chip on the thing so anyway that's a judgment but card at the base of the reason my darlings overall energy of this time period okay is a two of cups twos we know are about commitments partnership duality success um diplomacy agreements if you will agreements on both sides level on both sides you know balanced on both sides and we have the cups here, so emotions balanced on both sides, balancing of emotions, an agreement of emotions. So this is why they call this card the soulmate card. There's this energy though of balance, and I'm feeling like it's, I feel inside, outside, inside, outside. So even if this is not to do with, for some of you it will be, it can be, will be, um, about love, about loving somebody, etc. But I also feel there's an inside outside, inside outside going on. There's a there's a balance inside outside. So that shows for me, I keep doing this with my hand, that this is what's going on. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm intuitively feeling. I feel a balance inside outside for you on the inside and on the outside. So the truth about how you feel being reflected on the outside, your actions being a reflection of what's going on inside. That's what we see. So this is a good thing, Aquarius. I am an Aquarius moon sign, I'm a Capricorn sun, an Aquarius moon. Okay, so let's start then with what's coming on for you guys. What's going on for you guys? Um, you've got a, a, a clarifying card here as well, actually. Just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> you can see that, but anyway. Um, so we'll start with the sun part of your reading, which is actions and experiences, your actions and your experiences in the month of September. We have, oh my gosh, we've got two, two, two. Okay, so we've got two, two, two already. So we've got... Um, that we've got two cups obviously as you already know we've got the we've got judgment energy 20 and we've got two of wands we've got ace of pentacles and we've got the five of pentacles okay good 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 so the remnants of what you've been facing up to so you come it's like you come into this month and it's not a new month it's like it's kind of like the same this is what i see here but this is a good thing right the, the judgment energy 
the judgment energy is a is a card of revelation it's a card of finally being able to see everything finally knowing everything everything finally being out in the open so any if the where there was confusion where there was unknown where there was things that were, were hidden from you where you might have been hiding things from yourself even in your own mind consciously where something might have been misunderstood you've believed something to be you believed things were always this way suddenly now everything is revealed suddenly now the truth is seen by you and it is unable to be avoided one judgment for example i'll give it i always give this as an example for judgment right so imagine it's very convoluted I'll, let me try to think of something in oh my gosh oh my gosh does anyone watch repair shop this was a moment of judgment the repair shop it's a program in the uk um i love it and basically, people take old antiques or whatever, and they take them to a place where there's all these experts, and the experts, you know, expert in clocks, expert in this, expert in that. And they and the people fix it, and they tell the stories. Right, this guy comes, oh my word, I'll have to get a prop for this one. And he has this box, and he says, and it's all burned, so he texts it. What's the story behind your box, sir? This is, a, this is an example of judgment, a direct example of judgment, okay? What is in your box, sir? And, um... He said, tell, tell us the story about the box. He said, oh, it's all burnt here. It's all burnt, you know. After my sister died, he said, I went up to clear the house, you know. I'm the only mum and dad have died long ago. Just me and my sister, she died. So this this is the box from my sister's house. He said, "We all, I opened the box and he found in the box adoption papers. His parents adopting him from the sister so he his sister was really his mother and he didn't find out until after his parents adoptive parents or grandparents his parents had died his sister had died and after that he found the adult oh my Harry, can you imagine oh my way that was a real story anyway that for an example, is an example of judgment. It's everything, no secrets. That type of information, it doesn't have to be that dramatic for you, obviously. I'm not saying that's going to happen for you. <laughs> of course not. Just saying it's an example of judgment. So when, when I say everything clear, everything out in the open, we mean you have thought and believed something for such a long time or you've believed this and then you suddenly find out that what you you suddenly find out everything about that situation and that is something that is transformative that is the energy of judgment so what you learn what you realize what you see what you allow yourself to engage with in your awareness this month is absolutely transformative for you for your life Aquarius this though when I say judgment though it means that something's gonna happen it means that an event I'm not saying you're gonna find some adoption papers no 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 that's an example of judgment of the energy of judgment of that transformative news of something of revelationary news of revelationary information of a revelationary moment of awareness that is what judgment represents that revelationary moment of awareness have it getting that information that is transformative and we see it's transformative don't we because that's happening for you that's your experiences whether you're saying something someone's saying something to you could be about love could be about our loved one could be about your heart chakra your heart space could be about previous trauma previous relationship per relationship with parents could be anything but it's something that really really transforms how it, it's like it lightens up it lightens you in a way sometimes we just just admitting something to ourselves allows us to feel lighter and it could be something like that you admit to yourself how you feel about somebody or whatever i don't know but it could be something like that even yeah and it could be that that that, that brings about this transformative revelation for you in your, and this transformative shift in your awareness the next card another number two we have the um two of wands i'm just gonna just get up here my other book for you so i can look up two 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 
So wand energy is about is our life force, our chi, our key. The it, it's the act of moving. It's not thinking about moving. It's not thinking that we should do. It's actually the doing. This is about an opportunity, a, a, a an opportunity that you're taking. You're going to take this opportunity. So for some of you, you, you go, you're going to take this opportunity to change. You're going to take this opportunity to reset to apologize to accept an apology to forgive to to rethink to whatever you 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 know it's like you're going to take that opportunity it's this it's like this thing this revelation so this new awareness that comes into you whether it's you admitting something to yourself whether it's somebody else saying something to you whatever it, it's like you're committing to the new way the new clarity that this gives you that's what i feel i feel like it's it's this judgment in a sense that moves you it's this judgment that moves you two 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 three twos reorganization 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 yeah so i feel like um that is like two 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 reorganization so it is like reorganization of thoughts it's like it's like it really is shifting how you put your energy out there in the world this realization that you're having this new information that you're having is 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 making you put yourself differently in the world carry yourself differently in the world act differently in the world do things differently in the world there's a new new just a second um attitude there's a new attitude you've got a new attitude and it's brought about by this you've been trying to work this out you've been trying to you've been trying to work something out as you enter as you enter september and you still trying to work it out at the beginning of september and then you work it out so you've been trying to get to the bottom of something you've been trying to find something out or you've been trying to and that could be you know you've been doing research or you've been whatever you know other people whatever trying to have conversation but it could be about you you've been trying to get work something out about yourself you've been trying to meditate you've been trying to reflect you've been trying to write about you've been trying to remember you've been trying to have conversations with your parents about the past or whatever it, you come into september trying to work something out you enter september trying to work something out and then you work this thing out you get the answer you get the clarity you understand you get the understanding in september and then that understanding is the thing that then moves you forward. It's that, that that helps to open the door for you. It opens the door for you. Interesting, because this energy is nothing to do with this. It's like, well, it seems nothing to do with it. What I feel with the Ace of Pentacles is I feel like an opportunity comes around, comes in from somewhere else. It's like it's like you're doing this really important inner work, or you're having this this these these family conversations, or you're 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 doing this research about the family or family tree or whatever it's like you're doing this and that's going on and you find that information and whatever whatever goes on during the, but then this comes this like is from somewhere else it's like this is like for example this is like this is like getting a new job or getting a promotion like and it's got nothing to do with it seems like it's got nothing to do with this if that makes sense but this is a help to this this it, it this new opportunity that comes in, a new opportunity comes in acting in a sense like not a distraction. It's a good thing. It's a good, could be a relationship, could be a, could be anything, could be a relationship, could be a job, could be money, could, you could win the lottery, you know, you could win a tenner on lottery. I don't know. You could, you know, you could get like a prize. I don't know. It could be anything, but it, it's like separate from this. So whatever the realization is, whatever the, the truth is, whatever the thing is you find out, this comes in as in as a distraction. It could be like a new job. It could be a promotion. I feel like it is for some of you, like a promotion or like a new job or like finding something, finding something. Like you find something like a new house or I don't know, something that you want to buy or whatever and you can buy it. And it's seemingly separate from this, but it's supporting this. It supports, it's like, 
it's like you need this in your life in September. You need this new opportunity, this gift, this this new job, this new promotion. You need this whilst this is all happening concurrently. That that's all I can say. That's what I feel. It's that's it. It's like this is this is separate from this. So this this is to do with your for example, if this is to do with your relationship, this is to do with your job. Or if this is to do with your job, this is to do with your relationship. Like this set do you know what I mean? Like this separate in a sense, but they but it support but it's like you get something good that helps you to sort of manage this new level of awareness. And yet they're two separate things. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I can't. I don't know how to say it. I don't know. It's like a new. Really, I don't know. I, that's how. I can't say it any other way than that. I'm trying to explain it, but like, that's how. I, that's how I see it. It's like something's coming in, and it's a good thing. What's coming in, and the good thing that's coming in is unrelated to this new level of awareness that you're, or this new level of 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 awareness that you're getting about yourself. And yet, one thing does help to support the other. They help to support each other. It helps to help you that gives you a level of a, helps you feel secure that's the word you get a, a sense of security from this even with these revelations that come along so for example if you were that person for example i'm not telling you that you were adopted right i'm just saying as the example so if you were that person that found out that he was adopted like in on the repair shop and um and that might be something that makes you feel like, you know, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, what do I, what does that mean about me? And what does that mean about my parents? And there's that all going on, right? And then you also win the lottery. Or something. I don't know, it's like, <laughs> something else happens. Anyway, I'm going to start going on about it. But the, you definitely get in, it's kind of like a blessing is coming in to help you to sort of move, navigate this energy. That's what it feels like. It's just like a blessing is coming in to help you to navigate the energy of of this transformative revelation that you that you get in September. There you go. That's I can't say it any better than that. Okay, so <laughs> okay, five of pentacles. We know that fives are about change. We know that fives are about shifts in our energy and about how in about deciding where we're gonna put our energy. Uh, and we know that pentacles is about our security so this is about a shift or change in deciding how we're gonna how i'm gonna apply myself how am i gonna apply my energy how i'm gonna apply my thinking how am i gonna apply my time this is that energy and with the pentacles energy sometimes it means that we 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 direct energy in a different way so you you might be used to directing it to you know creating wealth you might be used to directing your energy to creating a, a stable relationship with your partner or your your husband your wife your kids but in this month you're going to divert your energy to another thing that's going to provide you with security and 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 to provide you with a sense an inner sense of security you you put in your energy the five of one five of ones the five of pentacles really highlights the fact that you're putting your energy into helping you personally feel a sense of inner security of inner personal security, inner emotional security, for example, inner mental security, for example. You're putting your energy there. So even if you're in a relationship, you have a job, you have all these other things that are distracting you, that are seemingly distracting distracting you, or that other people may perceive as seemingly, seemingly distracting you, what you're actually doing is putting your energy into, into gaining a sense of of security that could be obscured to other people it might even be obscured to your conscious mind you might not realize that this revelation that finding out this family tree or finding out these secrets or or, or apologizing or spending that time in meditation you might not realize that actually those this act and the thing that you find out the clarity that and the awareness that it brings about that actually these things are actually even if they're taking away from your friends from your work from whatever this is actually what's providing you with a sense of security. And it's like, this is like the universe's way of helping you to find this security. It seems separate, but it supports, this Ace of Pentacles supports this process, allows this process to go on. So for example, it could be that you're you're gifted 
two weeks off work on full pay that what you know it's like the, it's like oh it's like um or oh, the 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 um we can't be covid secure so you're gonna have to stay at home for two weeks but we're gonna pay you to stay at home for two weeks right that happens that's your extra pentacles and because you're allowed to be on for two weeks and the all the systems are down at work and you can't go to work it gives you time to focus on this it gives you time to focus on meditating it gives you time to to do the family tree it gives you time to do the research or whatever that's what that's what the relationship is like between these energies and that's what's going on so it's like a very it's like a very i know this is for me as well because i said i'm aquarius moon so i, I wouldn't mind that <laughs> it's like a very things are working for us things are working in our favor even if it doesn't look like it your 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 head's down and you're continuing with the process and and actually you are 100 percent being supported from behind from the from from the imperceptible universe okay so let's move on what's going on um beneath the surface for you so this is all the thoughts the ideas the truth the realities everything flooding into your mind with the knight of swords we next have the six of, of swords excellent so we've got this this calmness coming through so first of all we have the the the, the sort of the the all the information all the realizations that, that that information brings about you know all the things that you realize because of this judgment moment you, all the things that you know all the things that it makes you think all the things it all comes flooding in but then we also have the six of swords which means that we go on to calmer waters which means that we can navigate this then we have the the hierophant number five and the devil energy so the knight of swords is that energy it's fast moving i don't like to look at it because it's very fast moving and for me as, a, as an intuitive empath it's very um <laughs> it's very strong for me to look at it so i'm not going to look at it but you can see it okay um there you go so for you guys this is easy for you because this is your energy you're in about your about your mind and about your the con all sword energies in, in this instance are about our mental consciousness our processes our mental processes how we think what we think what our disposition is what our beliefs are where our beliefs come from our, our ability to apply logic our ability to reason all these things is re re linked to the sword energy with the knight of swords like the kings and the queens and the pages they all indicate change first of all so we know it's about a change in perspective a change in mind change in thought processes change in thought patterns etc changing the type of things that you think for etc but with it being the knight of swords it's showing that there's there's an influx a lot of new a lot it, a lot of, of 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 information a lot of thoughts a lot of activity a lot of mental activity going on this might be and i really feel like it's like it's like connecting the dots it's like all the dots being there you have all the dots here with the with the judgment and then you're connecting the dots there's an understanding that's coming a cognition that's coming in um i know somebody who um he has a sort of an interesting relationship shall we say with his mother like he doesn't really see her very much he doesn't really see her very often now me i am um obviously i've always been what i am right so i'm intuitive and i'm an, an empath and um i got some if you will in, intuitively some information about his his mum but also family members that i've never met of his who have passed on loved ones of his um and it made me think differently about his mother because of that information if that makes sense but that information was intuitive i you know i <laughs> i won't tell you where i got the information from but it wasn't from anyone in the you know who, who you see or, you know i see you know what i mean so I, I got this information intuitive if you will now you want to tell people but you can't i want it would be good wouldn't it if i could just go to that person and say oh my god like did you know this like i know this i know this to be true i can't tell you how i know it to be true but i know it to be true because that really changed my thoughts about this per about his mother now this is like him getting that information not from me 
from from I don't know I don't know another source for example and it's and it's all the thoughts and the ideas and the thinking that comes about because of this now this new information that's what this is showing it's showing all this new information because of the new information it gives you all these thoughts these ideas these realizations and everything's coming to your mind all at once and flooding to your mind all at once and, and you're thinking about things all at once and blah 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 but this is a process that you're going that's going on in the month of September but look what comes realizations come truths come realities come honesty comes truth for yourself you being honest with yourself comes you committing to being honest with yourself comes and this is a real positive thing we've got the six of pen the six of swords here so we know what the, we know what sword energy represents number six is about is appreciation recognition of the value of something recognition of the value of this of this information of this knowing of this thinking of this realizing this is, this is, you're releasing a lot of pain, I feel. You're releasing a lot of pain. And it's because of your, it's because you're realising that you've been holding on to pain. So before you knew the reason why, you were holding on to a heck of a lot of pain. You were holding on to a lot, a heck of a lot of blame, judgement. It could be of you, it could be of other people, whatever, I don't know. But you you're releasing a lot of that and that is what i like to see the fact that you're releasing it this is showing a balance here a balance with divine masculine divine feminine inner child you this is all you that's you that's you that's you it's a coming together of all aspects of you they ask the parts of ourselves that are wounded in a child is wounding you know formative experiences the imprint of formative experiences that keep us stuck that keep us in arrested development Divine feminine, emotions, memories, divine masculine actions. So you have all these things, active thought, active, you know, things that have happened, at encounters, etc. Encount the things that we encounter, etc. Blah blah blah. So we have this these the coming together of these things, the coming together, the appreciation, the recognition of the necessity of all aspects of self. And once we recognize that the calmness ensues the calmness comes and it's it's that awareness remember it's the seeing it it's the, it's the sun being shone on the inside that that that's what brings about this calmness we have the hierophant here i want to bring these two i mean we've got five and six here right we've got five and we've got one five so we've got six five and six and i want to bring these two together because you know you can see the similarities in these energies okay the similarities in these energies okay you can see the similarities in, in in the energies here the both earth energies taurus and capricorn here this i always say about the hierophant i always say about the hierophant you can live your rules or somebody else's by your rules i mean you can live with what's the thing that moves you in life what's the thing that motivates you in life is that is it is do you do what you want because that's what you want because you feel that that's what you need because you feel that that's who you are because you feel that that's authentic to you or do you do it for other reasons but it doesn't matter what those other reasons are i don't care what they are it doesn't matter but you've got the truth and then you've got the truth that as told by other people you've got your truth and you've got the truth as told by the world and the truth is what's told by the world isn't the truth your truth is what's the truth your you live in your head you live in your body. You live in your awareness. You live in your consciousness. So the rest of it doesn't matter. So which truth do you live by? Do you live by your truth or do you live by the truth of the of the world? I don't I don't care what the world says. Because the, what the world says doesn't matter. Because you, you still feel how you feel. Right? So which one are you going to live by? Another question. Or not a question, statement slavish commitment slavish commitment to a way of being to a way of thinking to a way of acting that leads to your transformation where are you putting your energy why are you putting your energy there this could be in a way of thinking this is you being tied to a way of thinking a way of acting a way of perceiving right so look we've got these i'm tied to a way of acting a way of thinking a way of perceiving you me us right what is going to be the thing 
that makes me act, that makes me move? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be this old way of thinking? Is it going to be because that's the truth that I believe? Is it going to be because that's the, what society says? Is it, is it because that's how it's always been? Or am I going to live the new truth? The new truth brought about by this judgment. I tell you, I can tell the answer. You're going to live this new truth that's brought about by this judgment. And I know that because of this energy here, because of this two of wands here. This two of wands tells me that the judgment is a thing that now drives your actions. The judgment, the new, the truth, the new truth, the new realisation, the transformative realisation that you have as you begin September is the thing that's going to guide your actions. But and however, that's the feel. You're going to feel that. You're going to know that there's two truths. You're going to realise and understand that there's two truths that exist for you. You're going to finally recognise that there are two truths within you. So you're going to realise that, you know, I only, for example, I only do this, family businesses, for example, right? I only do this job. I only work in this business because that's what my dad and my mum wanted. It's not what I want. It's what my mum and dad want. It's not what I want. For example, right? That's the type of it. But it's hearing that. It's hearing both those things in your head. It's it's realising that. It's being honest with yourself that in September. Yeah? Do you see what I'm saying? So you've done this job because it's about the business, you happen to do it, blah, 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 blah. But you don't you don't, but but now you're hearing, I only do this because of the family because it's the family business. It's not what I want to do. I want to do something else. I'm not saying you're gonna do something else, I'm saying that's that what you hear. That's what you realise, that's what you know, that's what you become aware of emotionally. This is in your, in your divine feminine position, in your moon, so it's emotionally. So this is the type of stuff you're going to be feeling. You're going to be, you, you might, see, this is the thing though. You have to give rise to it. You have to allow your self-consciously to come into that awareness. And actually, that's what you do, actually, now I see. I mean, look at the, look at the, it's funny because we have these, we have this imagery, you know, sort of not repeated necessarily, but the similar things with the two and the, you know, with the, hang on, sorry, you can see what I'm trying to get at, can't you? You can see what I'm trying to get at. Now, it's, we have the two people, the two people looking up, looking up at this, at the, you know what I'm saying? So we've got this new, this, this, this kind of repeated sort of theme almost, repeated sort of theme almost, but it's this judgment, it's this realisation, it's this truth. The realisation maybe that you committed to an old way of thinking that's unfair to you or to somebody else, you commit you the, or, or the way that you've been thinking is is at odds with the truth about how you feel or whatever, it could be anything, but this is the revelation. You come into that, you come into September with that information, with that grappling, if you will, with that we're trying to work it out, we're trying to realise, we're trying to understand, you come in with that energy and you do work out and you do realise. And the thing, as I said, that's moving you forward, and it's nice because you're 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 going with excuse me. The thing that is moving you forward is the is the realization that oh my gosh, I only do this for example, oh my gosh, I only do this job because it's because my dad wanted me to do it. I'm only a doctor because my dad wanted me to be a doctor. I don't actually want to be a doctor. Is that real this is the hearing of that? And it's like that is a realization in itself. Does that make sense? And it's that realization in itself that is helping you to transform in some way. But not only are you having that realization, it's like it's like also work says you have to take two weeks off. You have to take two weeks off because we'll pay on full pay, but you have to take two weeks off because we've got, I don't know, we've got rats. So I don't know, whatever, right? And then it's like you being given the opportunity to have time off work or whatever actually allows you to come to that realisation that, oh my gosh, I only do this job because my dad wanted me to do it in the first place. So now we see what the destiny is. Now, I don't, I, I give these, these are just examples, but the, but the, archetypal experiences and energies of these is what you're all going to get how it's going to manifest in your life specifically i don't know because i don't know your life you know your life i don't so you will have to sort of just apply that to your life but the the actual sort of the the archetypal energies the themes the ideas that i'm talking about these are the things that you can expect to experience okay so let's look at what's coming on as we head into October. So we've got a so one excellent, excellent, excellent. So we like see, and I, and I'm saying excellent because I've done this in three the reading. Three, this is the third reading and the last reading of the day. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In in the three readings that I've done today, the air signs, um, 
I've told you, I, I, I've told you what's going to happen. Well, I've told you the, the energies, I've explained them. And then, and then I've, and then I've turned over these and I've said excellent on all three times. And the reason I'm saying excellent is because you do actually do it. So w we can see that the, the shift in awareness come in, the, the shift in the, it, it, you know, it internally come in, the new realizations come in. But the, what, what I see as we move into October is that the maturation, like the maturing of that awareness and then the action and that's why i'm saying excellent okay so then we so we've got the ace of wands excellent we've got the the another ones we've got the eight of wands then we've got the six of wands with the clarifying cards and then we've got the well oh i'm gonna i have to give you a round of applause for that one eh, aquarius i have to give you a round of applause because all I'm seeing here is that you are finally listening to your instinct, okay? So what the process begins, listen to your instinct, begins in, sep in September, but it continues well into um, October. And not only instinct, but your your, uh, your uh, reactions, your, re what, what are they called? Yeah, they're called reflexes, reactions. Are they called re Anyway, I can't think what I'm trying to say. Responses. Your responding to what your body's telling you what your intuition's telling you you're noticing it first of all and you're responding to it so this is action all these cards are active okay they're all fire they're all wand energy wand energy is life force cheeky what moves is it's the act of moving it's the action that we take and this is starting anew this is you wielding your own club this is you wielding your own wand making your own magic doing your own thing applying your new thinking responding in a new way to your intuition are you listening to it are you listening to how something makes you feel? You go, you, 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 you know, you, you, you have a conversation with somebody, you feel a certain way. Ordinarily, ordinarily, you would, in your Aquarius mind, you would say, well, you know, yeah, I feel that way, but I shouldn't say that because for whatever reason, whatever the reason, I don't care, it doesn't matter. It's not polite. That's, you, that's, that, that's not what people say. You don't tell people how you feel. Whatever the reason, I don't care. It doesn't matter, right? ordinarily you'd, you'd logically listen to that right you'd say well you know it's not fair you can't say that's people you can't tell people the truth it might hurt the feelings blah blah, blah. can't tell the tr listen whatever comes after you can't tell the truth because i don't need to know you sh you can't always tell the truth it's a lie that you can't tell the truth it's a lie that you shouldn't tell the truth it's a lie and it's a delusion okay and what you're doing now is you usually you say to yourself oh my god you know i can't tell the truth because it'll hurt my feelings or because blah 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 or blah 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 blah, blah or da, 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 da. this is you though noticing that you're telling yourself oh my god i can't tell why do you think i can't tell the truth and acting and responding to it whether you actually tell the truth or not is up to you but this is you noticing these wand energy is noticing that you have those conversations in your head noticing that you have a propensity if you will to stop yourself from saying or stop yourself from doing or responding in this way this is noticing those responses and when i see these so many i i see change so i see you going with the floor this is what i see with the ace of wands it's a new beginning it's a new way of engaging with yourself it's a new way of engaging with your instincts and your intuition it's a new way of responding to your your, your to what you're experiencing it's a new way of responding to what you're experiencing and this is showing new not only a new way of responding to what you're experiencing um and how you're reacting to things with the ace of wands but with the eight of wands this is showing new experiences so what's coming in now is new experiences for some of you it could be love for some of you it could be love and what what how you would usually respond in love how you would usually be when you meet a new person or when you when you start dating or whatever how you would usually do it you this is not usual this is this is not usual it's not usual so not only is your reaction to them not usual what you experience is also not usual so let me let me try to explain what i'm saying so for example uh I don't know, uh, whatever, t Tinder, right? So you go on Tinder, you're on Tinder, you're on uh, a dating site or whatever, um, or a job site, if you're looking for jobs, or you're looking for work, so you're on the site, you're on the site, you're on the site, and ordinarily you would look on on, the, on LinkedIn or the Tinder, I don't know, bloody hell, I'm having two different scenarios here, but you'd look on the web, you'd look on the, the job lists, 
and you'd say, oh, that's, I, I can't do that job. 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 It's, it's too, it's too hard. I'm not quite there yet. I'm not. And ordinarily, that's what you would do. So you wouldn't apply for those jobs. You wouldn't apply for those jobs. Or you would look at the people on, on oh, he's too good looking for me. He's too good looking for me. Or, or he's too, or she's too good looking for me. Or no, she wouldn't like me or whatever. Ordinarily, that's what you would do. You would flick through, you'd flick through. You would say, you would say, no, no, no. But what happens now? What happens in October is you hear yourself going, she's too good for me, or that job's too good for me, or I'm not good enough for that job. You hear that and you go, hang on, you go, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know what? You hear that in your head and you go, do you know what? No, I'm not, no, 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 no. No more am I saying that to me. No, I'm not saying that to myself in the day. I'm going to apply for this job and I'm going to swipe right or whatever it is. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see if she'll like me or if he likes me. Or I'm gonna say I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my CV in and see what happens. And so you do that, you put your CV in or you swipe right, and then you get a response. And it's a favourable one. And and that that per, that person likes you or that job wants you and you're like, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. That is kind of the kind of stuff that's happening. That's what I'm seeing here. Now it doesn't what I mean is I'm not seeing that as in that's going to happen it may but what i mean is your act which you would not have or you wouldn't have done this before october what you're doing now in october you wouldn't have done before october the reason you can do it now in october is because of what's happened in september right so what you're doing your act in october brings about new experiences and that's because you're acting in a new way. You're behaving in a new way. And so that you're responding in a new way. And so that is actually bringing about new energy and new experiences coming toward you. So where you drive, you drive, you drive, you never, you're never, you never let anyone out. So you're driving, you never let anyone join the lane, right? This is you going, because of this new revelation that you've had, you're thinking differently, right? So you're, you're driving to work, you're driving to work. And instead of, and you get to that point and you hear yourself, oh, I'm not letting, and actually, you know what? I am going to let him out. And you let him out, the driver, and your driver carries on. And then you get to work and you get a promotion or whatever. I don't know. Don't get a promotion. But what I'm saying is, this is the new energy comes about because you were nice to them. You get to work earlier or something and you get the best donors. I don't believe in no, but I'm saying that your new energy is bringing about new experiences and success. So look, look at guys. Come on, Aquarius. Come on, Aquarius. This is good, Aquarius. We've got victory here. We've got victory. We've got success. We've got you feeling successful. You feeling good. You feeling happy. You feeling confident, right? But you've also got other people being able to see that change and shift in you. Other people being able going, bloody hell, you know what? You've got right, go look at you. You do right, go for yourself. Or aren't you doing well? Or aren't you happy? Or blah, 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 blah. It's other people seeing that as well. Other people seeing you've got something to be proud of. It it really has lightened, lightened you, this judgment, whatever it was, this realization, this transformative realization. This could be, as I said, someone you admitting something to yourself, you realizing something for yourself, you finding something out for yourself. That is the thing that opens doors for you. That realization, that revel that revelationary, transformative, revelationary moment that you have in september or as you went to september this is the thing that actually brings about brand new experiences for you brings in new energy and success and we've got justice look at this justice so for some of you i mean this is 11 one one we've got this six here six of wands which is linked to the lovers we've got six of um so it's also linked to lovers. We've got Ace of Pentacles, which could be suggestive of, you know, new relationships, new new security, new sense of security. We've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Wed Marriage card. The Four. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, some the Four of Wands. I mean, some people may well be, may well be, finally finding the love, the pe the, the the love that they want in their life, and that could be love of self. That could be 
finally reconciling with a family member or with your mum or your dad or whatever. It could be love of self. It could be love of others or love with others. But it's definitely success, justice and balance coming in. As I said, inside, outside. In, I was doing this before. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. That is the thing that has been hidden from you almost. That's been the thing that's been that's been you've been trying to grasp and not been able to and now you see it the truth the truth and you've, you you know this is for example judgment could be admitting to yourself admitting that you were wrong or admitting that you've been too hard on yourself or admitting that you were too whatever i don't know just admitting it could be that admitting but as I said, it's almost like finding out that your mum's your sister. You know what I mean? Or your sister's your mum, whatever. It's all because it it's it absolutely transforms. That type of realization absolutely transforms our life because it it frees us from thinking in, in a certain way. And because we no longer think in this way, we no longer act in this way. And because we no longer act in this way, we act in a new way. And because we act in a new way, that brings about new experiences. And because that brings out new experiences, that helps us to feel successful. That helps us to feel different. That helps us to feel balanced. It's that type of realisation that you go through. And it's that type of realisation that brings about these new experiences for you, these manifesting, this new sense of happiness. And, and you know what? You are feeling good, Aquarius. And I'm feeling good. I mean, listen, I'm new sign Aquarius, so I'm all good. I'm all on this, babe. I'm all on this. I'm here. I'm here for it. So love could be, for actual love, you know, for some, and I know for this person that I was speaking about before with his mom and blah, 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 I know for him, he really does want to, to, to you know, to meet somebody. And this really could be, I, I'd be happy to say to him, oh my gosh, you're going to meet someone. Actually, I, do you know what? I probably wouldn't say that to him. I'd probably say to him, this is the important message for you. Once this, this, the realisation, the truth, the transformative realisation, it's the transformative realisation that brings about this. So you've got to have the transformative realisation first, okay? That's what needs to happen first, okay? And and as I said, I feel you do. I, I don't feel like there's any... I can't hold you back. No one can hold you back from having this realisation, this truth, this balance, this success. Justice, we know that justice is balance. We know that justice is success. This is linked. This is all the knowledge. This is like knowing everything, seeing everything, knowing everything's going to be all right, feeling everything's going to be fine, but not knowing why you know that, not understanding why you know it, know it but just knowing it. Because you've got all the detail with justice. That's what justice represents, that balance. Again, one, one, again, two, yeah? So we've had two, two, two. I couldn't really add another two. Where was the other two? Two, two, four twos. Fine, if two, 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 two. Anyway, so reorganisation, yes. Of thought, yes. Of, of, of perception, yes. Of understanding, yes. But also of actions, also of what you do. And also of because of you're changing how you feel, you're changing how you think, that changes what you do. That brings about new experiences. That brings about new feelings of success, new feelings of security. And look at this as we end finally with the four of ones the marriage card for shorthand and the reason it's marriage card for shorthand is because is because it's because it's because in a nutshell fours are about our families um our roots our mothers and fathers uh where is the ground underground etc but there are and one's energy so that's where we from what how we build you know the structures in our lives the, you know the things that we build off what we build off yeah what we build off um, and one's energy is having, knowing, feeling that we have the things that we can build off, that we can build on. So, you know, your mum and dad, they teach you how to love yourself, how to love other people, how to be a nice person, blah, 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 blah. That's your ground. And then you build on that ground your own family, your own future, your own kids, etc. Blah, whatever, your own life, if you will. So the things that, that, that you can build on, having all those things having those things that you need so that you can now build the things that you want that's why we call this a marriage card okay so this is what you're going towards you're going to this sense of new security this sense of establishing your own structures establishing your own new clear truthful authentic way of thinking and believing that's no longer tied to this 
that's no longer tied to an old way of thinking, that's no longer tied to an old set of rules. You have your new set, you have your truthful set, you have your authentic self, your authentic structure, and it's that that you can build on. And for some of you, 100% yes, you will. It's this transformation that helps to bring in the type of relationship that you want, the type of commitment that you really, truly want. You don't want to just have a marriage like your mum and dad's. You know, you want your marriage to change, to be like your marriage, because you know now who you are. You know now why you've been stuck in this old way of interacting with your partner, your current partner, whatever. You, you know the truth now. Now it's about building on what you now know. And that's going to be able to give you the love, the passion, the contentment the, and the security and love that you did desire and that you need. Okay, my fabulous Aquarius, what a lovely reading for you, my darlings. You are the last reading that I'm doing, so they're all done, all 12 are done. So I will post these up uh, next week so you can all watch them. Along with the other video that I'm going to do, it's going to be focusing really on the consciousness, the, the eight aggregates of consciousness, so the different levels of consciousness, the things that we can be consciously aware of. I'm also going to look at number seven as well and number five, um, you know, because we get a lot of fives and a lot of sevens, not in your reading, but anyway, it might be of interest to you, so definitely check that out. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the bell, blah, 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 so that you can get notifications. And I'll be back next month with your next extended reading okay my darlings take care my fabulous aquariuses and have a wonderful september and october and i'll see you all again very soon take care my darlings bye